Some of the most exciting outdoor activities in Utah happen at the Olympic Training Park in Park City, including the 2002 Winter Olympics. Newsline reporter Mitchell Price is at the Utah Olympic Park Training Facility now, where the state hopes to host the Winter Olympic Games in the upcoming years. Today I'm here at the Utah Olympic Park Training Facility in Park City, Utah. World-class athletes from around the globe come here to train for the Winter Olympic Games. Carl Repke raced the 1983 and 88 U.S. Olympic Luge team, is a two-time U.S. Luge National Masters champion, and did commentary and announcing for the last six Winter Olympic Games. He also helped develop the public tour for the bobsled track, which he still leads to this day. Repke first got the chance to commentate in 2002. Then all of a sudden the Olympic Games, the Games came to Salt Lake City, and they asked me to announce for the 2002 Olympic Games. And somebody was happy. And then I announced in 2006 in Italy. And then I announced in 2010 in Vancouver. And I think what does it is that when I give him the announcer's voice, ladies and gentlemen, you're a gold medalist and Olympic champion. He's proud of his career, but he is also proud of the work he does now, instructing visitors to the park before they ride the bobsleds. The bobsled track runs year round and is open to the public. The track is made of concrete and covered with ice. The track has over 59 thermometers inside that constantly monitor the track's temperature. We get that concrete down as cold as we can, and by hand we shape the whole track. Every day the track has to get rebuilt. The park has seven Nordic ski jumps, a million gallon swimming pool for them to land in, zip lines, and ropes courses. Utah is currently bidding to host the Winter Olympic Games once again in either 2030 or 2034. Reporting for BYU Newsline, I'm Mitchell Price.